Hey yo, welcome back to Uncle Karius, everybody. I don't know why my fishing pole's out. But yeah, we are here. We are Jeer. I don't know what that means. I, so there's a little bug with this. I don't remember what the bug was. It was something. <laughs> I don't remember what mod. I think it's bait and tackle or something like that. I don't know. Hopefully, Juiced or somebody will from bait and tackle. Who the fuck knows if they update their mod. Hopefully, something gets figured out. Uh... I'll look into it after this. If it's something I can fix on my side, it might have been. I don't remember. I read the comments a while ago. Why is this dude still over there? I want to turn in the quest. How did I teleport back home? I want to turn in the quest. That's what we're going to do real quick. I really want to get that Flinks armor. That might be something we do this episode. Then we're going to get that armor and we're going to take on probably some bosses. Because we need to get moving when it comes to uh, bosses. No, just knock a couple bosses out of the way. I'm looking to upgrade our fishing pole either this episode or the next. And the next upgrade, there's either a star mix one we can make. Which star mix is this little something we can make. Is that what it's called? It might not be called star mix. I don't know. There's a lot of things called star apparently. There it is. It is star mix. Okay. So this makes stuff. Look, there's armor we can make. Kind of hard to make. Not really. Just, well, it's kind of hard. We'll say it is kind of because you need a lot of resources. And then there's the rod, which isn't too bad. But I think before we get that one, we're going to go for like a crimson battle rod or whatever battle rod we can get right now. Uh, there's a lot of battle rods here. Which one looks like crimson? That one. And there's also the corruption one. We'll try and go for one of these, but we need scales, aka why I want to see if we can get a bunch of bosses done. I don't know if we'll make it to uh, the Eater of Worlds. We have corruption, right? Yeah, I don't know if we'll make it to the Eater of Worlds. But we should be able to make it to at least I could do. I don't want to fish. Take that out. Where did demon eyes come from? I've seen demons. Their eyes ain't that big. Thanks for telling me that. All right, well, we have to do the Force, force of Vengeance quest first. Before I can turn in this, the Slime King's Jewel. So, so much for me coming down here to do that. But I really came down here to look for more flinxes. That's what I really came down here for. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Okay, how do you make the star mix? It's 10 copper, right? So we're going to get some extra copper here. Just in case I don't have enough already. Which I don't think I do. Yeah, I think we're going to do an early jump cut. Until I find enough flinxes. Because this part might take a while. Flinxes aren't easy to find. Don't hit me. Oh my god. He did exactly what I didn't want him to do. What a sight to behold. We got one right here. I'm just letting him chase me. Oh, I'm stuck. Don't let him chase you anymore. Alright. So there's this one. The ones that I got in that one episode, they all fell into lava somewhere down here. Oh, I don't have the map because I had to remake my character because I misspelled Uncle Karius. But uh, they all fell into lava. So I just ended up getting their fur from lava. Which is a pretty interesting way to get flink stuff. But look at that. We got one more fur. I think we have five in total. That actually might be the amount we need. One, two, two three. Yo, that's all we need. But I think I'm going to get one more. Just just to be 100% safe. And we also need fungal spores. Which drop, drop from something in the mushroom biome. I need. Oh, there's a mushroom biome. So we got to do a little bit of farming here at the beginning of this episode. Uh, I probably, I don't even know if I can get this episode posted in the same day I'm recording it. Because I am recording pretty late. I woke up pretty late. Oops, my bad. It's hard for me to keep a sleep schedule, man. It's just, it's it's hard out here. All I do is play video games 24-7. That's a hard life. So it seems like just killing enemies in this biome is what drops the fungal spores. So that's very good because it makes life easier. I don't really got to hunt for anything. Oh, he saw some. What we got? All right, hold up. Use this. Nice and nice and easy. This is what I like about the battle rods. It's like summoning. I don't have to do much. I like it. <laughs> the only thing I really gotta do is dodging, which dodging might be hard than just straight up fighting. But it's easier than doing both at once. And that's facts. You can't you can't say it's not easier than doing both at once. But at the same time, like I don't know. Maybe it's easier. Maybe some people are good at multitasking. Especially with Terraria. It's just like a natural. It's like second nature pretty much. Is that natural? Second nature? First nature? 
Whatever. I feel like we have enough. We'll fight one of these guys just in case we don't have enough. We will fight one of them. This boss actually hits extremely hard. I really need a double jump, dude. Like, not having a double jump is so detrimental. Like, it fucking sucks. <laughs> I wish I had a double jump. My life would be so much easier. Oh, look who finally came over here. About damn time. You, Bumblebee Tuna. I will try my best to do that. Sell that. I don't need that. Hooks. We do need hooks. We really do need hooks. Those are helpful. So, let's see here. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I, there's a music box right there, so I don't have to listen to it the dankest darkest music in the world really quick let's sell this we're not gonna need that the hook we don't exactly have a spot to put the hook for now we'll hold on to it there should be a mini boss somewhere should come up somewhere and attack us but let's see here let's get our flink stuff which i should have six of and let's get our fungal spores hopefully i have enough let's hope i think we just crafted it at a anvil i don't know I think is it whatever it doesn't matter it's here either way boom flink's hat uh increased fishing seal by three increased bob speed and damage by three percent made out of real flinks N no kidding snow sloth pants increased fishing skill by three uh bob speed and damage by two percent and the chest plate uh fishing skill by five and bob and speed by three percent so let's see here we got six defense and our fishing damage 44 boom it went up one damage what about our defense our defense went up a lot i kind of just want to wear this armor i mean it doesn't matter if it's brown it looks the same if it's brown uh but there you go that's how we look like beautiful isn't it this looks like a real man <laughs> all right it's like the next day irl i did a stream and I accidentally had this character up when i loaded the stream so i just streamed this character and during that stream we got a rockfish, we got a clubberfish, and we also killed the eye of Cthulhu because somebody was kind enough to make me with money. So, we're going to do something though before that. I have a hook somewhere. There it is. And then I need cobweb. Now, I wanted to originally make the omni lure, but we need a tinker's workbench for that. So, what we're going to make is just the extra lure and see what we can do with that before we take on the eye of Cthulhu, the legend himself. All right, hold up. Uh, what would this be better on? Tries to hit Bobber's rear cursor. Does, this, does that even work? Yeah, it's way better. Look at that. Look at the like arcs and shit it goes at. Take it off. It's like not that bad. I don't remember it being that good. All right. Let's try this. So apparently I cast two now, so maybe I'll hit him twice. Let's hope we hold up. Since I'm a little bit more prepared, he also attacked randomly. So that didn't really help my cause. But since I'm a little bit more prepared, I don't have water bottles. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> Just do it. It don't matter. We got a nurse. Uh let's increase life regen. Sure, man. Alright. Go ahead and do it. So yeah, look at that. That hits for double. That's crazy. Alright, let's turn off this. And let's fight this fool. Let's fight this fool. Hold up. There's something I'm trying to do. There it is. Let's drink that. And I should probably fight him a little bit more smart. As in, like, stay away from him. And just, like, grab onto him with a fishing hook. Because that'd be way smarter than doing it how I was about to do it. Which was just trying to hit him with a clubber fish. That's not going to work. So we're going to go. We're going to do it this way until he starts to transform. And then once he starts to transform, we're going to try and lob a bunch of uh, grenade fish at him. That's the plan. Now the only bad thing. Oh shit. Wait, I wasn't ready. The only bad thing is all his minions everywhere. That's probably the worst part. I'm out of here. You fish. You're not a fish. I'm out of here, you eyeball boy. Quickly. So we're just going to use the nurse. Because we are, in my opinion, still underprepared. We can do it. It's just not the easiest fight. And that's why we're going to use the nurse if needed. Which was only needed once. We probably didn't even need it. Because he barely hit us after that. 
But I'm just playing on the safe side. You can't blame a person for playing on that safe side. So let's sell that. I guess everything else we can keep. No problem. Uh, let's go ahead and let's turn our beautiful music back on because I don't want to hear this music. We got a shield actually we can sell. Let's sell it to my boy Wilbur. Here you go, Wilbur. I appreciate the tea you sold me. Even though it only lasted a minute, it's still helpful anyways. So, the main reason I wanted to do that was for a dryad to spawn. So that's why I did it during stream, but it was nighttime. And the dryad never ended up spawning. Because it was nighttime. And uh, you'll see, I got a little something happening over there. You guys will see it. We'll show it off at the end of this episode. But quickly, there's nothing for us to do there. Well, there might be. But I don't have it in mind right now. These materials are for something specific. It's for that thing I'm talking about with the dryad. Let's talk to this guy. Let's get the quest. And let's hope we find the uh, thing. Whatever the hell I'm looking for. What am I looking for? The mini boss. Duh. What else? But while we're doing that, hopefully he just spawns randomly. While we're doing that, I'm going to show you guys a little something that I worked on the whole entire stream. Pretty much the whole entire stream. Uh, it's this beautiful home over here. And I can't upload that stream. You guys are going to have to go to my Twitch and watch it. If you want to watch it. I can't upload that stream for a little bit because there's still... Um, Nunderson streams that I haven't uploaded like four of them I think three or four of them so I need to just like spam spam upload get those live okay here we go we got tree boy in action what's he doing which tree move is that that's the leaf one I'm staying all the way over here alright y'all got <laughs> y'all is in my fish you got him fish I can't get over him there's fucking minions being spawned from the left, too. That doesn't help. Whoo! Don't worry, we're killing them. This is my beautiful home right here. You guys like it? The idea is a work in progress. We're in a little cave here. There's a little water here. But like I said, work in progress. Don't worry, it'll get better. I think I'm in the perfect... Alright, alright. I lied, I lied. I wasn't in the perfect position to not get hit. Stop. Just fucking die. <laughs> Where's my fish? Why is he not helping? There you go. We don't need him. I knew he was dead. These eyeballs are crazy when you hit them with a fish grenade. But yeah, this is my home. The idea is we're going to have a little tiny boat right here. A little tiny boat or just like floating something. Maybe just like an island in the middle. It's really tiny and I like it because I think during the live stream. I don't remember if I said during the live stream. But I wanted to have a more compact home. Because like... I want to try out a more compact home. I don't want a, nice, a big open home. I want a compact home with tons of decoration and detail. So we're going to try that out. NPCs we're not going to worry about right now. We're just going to boxinator them and hope they do something. Because I, I hate building for NPCs, man. There's too many. There's too many damn NPCs and it just takes forever. Uh, real quick. I think I'm going to wait till daytime. And we're going to do some fishing to end off the episode. So I'll be right back. Shout out to my patrons right here. We got my boy Anderson, Josh, Turtle Turtle, Klinger, Ryan Mayer. Thank you for donating to my Patreon. I love you guys. That, that lick is for you. everybody i'm gonna end this episode off here i hope you enjoyed <laughs>